This is now wholesale training of change, the, uh, the new provisions which have come. It's like, a, it's like an overhauling of the mental training of the police officers of millions, lakhs, anywhere in India. So it's not only for constabulary or sub-inspectors. Everybody has to be oriented towards the new laws. It's a growth. It's a growth. There will be always due two views to it. No law, no empowerment of the police uh, um, suits everybody. But what you have to really look at is the largest security of the country. Uh, Ma'am, three uh, uh, new criminal laws will be impl implemented uh, from tomorrow onwards. So what do you have to say on this? Over the years, we've been training police officers in batches, in courses, different laws, time to time. There are millions of other forces, hai, two million. But this is wholesale training. And wholesale training, this is now wholesale training of change, the, uh, the new provisions which have come, whether it's in the, under the evidence or criminal procedure or under uh, the penal code. So what is happening is this full sensitized. It's like, a, it's like an overhauling of the mental training of the police officers of millions, lakhs, anywhere in India. So in, in a way, it's bringing together in one mindset the thousands and thousands of police officers of all ranks, by the way, because it's a new law. So new law has to be learned from the DGP to the constable. So it's not only for constabulary or sub-inspectors. Everybody has to be oriented towards the new laws, and not only police, the prosecution, the legal fraternity, the magistracy, and all others who have to now read the new laws. That means they're all becoming students of criminal justice system. Prisons, even prisons, even prisons have been given a responsibility that if after a particular defined definition, the, prison is, the prisoner is still with you in prison, it is the duty of the prison superintendent to inform the court that he has already done this much. See this? So they are binding down every aspect of the criminal justice system and bring in more transparency, like zero fire, no geography limit, no police station limit. If you are from here, elsewhere, and it's not your area police station, you can still register an FIR. It's called the zero FIR. So geography is not the constraint. Police station is no more the constraint. You get a copy of it. And it's the duty of the police officer now to send it to the police station concerned. Similarly, if there's an arrest, it has to be announced, it has to be on record that this so-and-so has been arrested. If an, uh, any arrest has been made, which is petty offences, below three years of imprisonment, the DSP has to clear it. He has to approve it. So that means higher level of accountability of arrest, not general mass arrest like that. A superint deputy superintendent approves the arrest. Then every arrest which has been made has to be brought into the designated police officer of the district, which is superintendent to police. Similarly, there were sometimes direct complaints to the magistrate against police officers. Now, go to the superintendent first, make a complaint, and then the, if you are not satisfied with the answer from the superintendent, the, and you want to go to the magistrate, magistrate will not issue su direct summons immediately to the police. They will ask a report from the superintendent. See, now there are levels of checks and balances. Handcuff is not there. And gangsters were always held hand in hand and exchanging dirty sweat and perspiration, maybe transmitting diseases, you never know. Because sweat is a disease in, in, when you touch each other's hand. That's why we say namaste, we don't shake hands. Because hy not hygienic. Hygienic is namaste. Handshakes are not. That's why we use in COVID. Remember distance maintaining? It was basically to avoid. Now handcuff has been brought back for gangsters in certain crimes, which will be a relief for the police. And also maybe if the courts, if the man runs away. Then the best important, another very important for feature is, you start, if there is a, it's a crime earned property, the, the ceiling, the ceiling can come in much faster. That means proceeds of crime can be, can be even decided upon even and given back to the person to whom this the crime was. So lots of things which we were always looking for, that this should happen early. Chit funds problem, remember? Housing problem. Those funds, they can be now be distributed by the magistrate and uh, hand it over to the victims. So there is a victim angle. Woman, she's been cheated. 
and lure of marriage and promotion or job and saying we'll marry, we'll get married and she doesn't. There's now a specific offence against this for, for the benefit of the woman. There's a preliminary inquiry where a FIR may be not immediately registered. There may be a preliminary inquiry to, do, to look at the truth of the matter. That means false FIRs will, will become avoidable. So there are many, many offense, uh, safeguards for victims, for women, for children, child raped, child gang raped child. We always said child gang raped, girl child, is called death penalty. It's given as death penalty now if the child is, girl child has been gang raped. So I think this is what uh, is leading to. It will lead to, uh, well, uh, they will evolve, they'll grow. But as I said, two, two parallel laws systems will prevail now. Laws which were under the Indian Penal Code, CRPC and uh, uh, Evidence Act, and now under these through the BNS, the BNSS and the BSA. So two laws will, so lawyers naturally, police officers will have to keep both the laws in mind in the investigation. Judges will also have to do, lawyers will have to do, and I think it will take another two decades minimum, at least 20 years before the earlier issues get cleared and the new systems come. But remember, these laws have come after delay for 150 years, some of them, 100 and 150 years. And the earlier laws had all British, uh, uh, Brit British nomenclatures, British Parliament, British Crown, all these. JNK was clearly written in the penal code, no, excluded. So how? Because they, it was a British law. And British were, it was suiting, it was accusatorial, it was more accused oriented. Uh, uh, dandit punishment it's a fact here do you also have community service so for minor offenses you can also do the be given all right given social work go serve the community maybe in a hospital maybe do road construction maybe do difficult work it depends on the judge and i have told you the judge now has to have a substitute judge cannot be just absent Judge, uh, if the judge is on leave, the judicial magistrate is on leave, he has to leave a link magistrate, link judge. So that means no, the, the, aaj judge sab nahi aaye. No, judge is not present, another judge is there, but the judge is there to hear you. So there are lots of intuit, uh, the more you read, the more you understand. But it is, uh, it is for the larger, it's a growth. It's a growth, there will be always due to views to it. As I said, every law has a two sides of the same coin. Ma'am, uh, many uh, bar has a uh, question on uh, these three laws. Uh, they are saying uh, police ko power di jari hai and uh, it should be implemented. Thoda vakt lena chahiye tha. So how you... All power coming is coming with accountability. See that I tell every arrest is to be in the knowledge of the superintendent. Every arrest has to be prior cleared by deputy superintendent. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it raising accountability? On one hand, it is raising accountability. On the other hand, it's convenience of all experts. Experts can give evidence now, don't have to come to the court again and again. You can do video conferencing, more use of technology. See, so every aspect of what was happening in the, has been included. And I think uh, uh, many lawyers were probably pleading for these also. So as I said, no law, no empowerment of the police uh, um, suits everybody. There's an, the way of looking at the victim angle or the accused angle. But what you have to really look at is the largest security of the country, security and integrity of the country and the people. That's a larger role of the government of the day. And it's accountable to the people. 